Hello, VexIQ Rapid Relay Community. We are bringing you an exclusive review of the practice run that Simpuroa and Magic and OpenG had before their qualification match. I'm Jason. And I'm Alan. Alright, getting into the match, on the left here we have the pink bot, otherwise known as Simfu. And on the right here, we got the famous 60666X Magic Kid OMG. They are number two in world skills ranking right now. And I would say they have one of the best built and best tuned robots here in the competition. And you might notice that these robots aren't actually in their starting position against the wall. And that's because they have these extenders, right? That extend because of the size limit. And so on here, you can see there's kind of like a spool with a lot of black string. And when it's actually the match, it's going to be touching the wall all the way over here. And the moment they start spinning their intake, all of this is going to retract back into there. And they're going to start right in front of the loading station. Yep, this seemed like very flexible so that the robots could start wherever they want. Yeah, and I've actually seen some American teams starting to do this, right? Uh, I've seen like Kinetic Force maybe in California. They have extenders in their matches and skills. And yeah. All right. So as the match starts, you can see that the ball doesn't even leave the loading station, and Simply already gets it. So far, we haven't seen any of this loading method in the U.S., but I think this is going to really spread, especially with all the magic and even the new STEM star teams in America. As you can see, at the back of the robot, Simply also has a piston activated redirect. You see, this redirect allows it to pass wherever. The bot is. For example, since the robot is always in the middle, even if the other passive robot is on the right or the left, it can easily pass to it. As you can see over here, you see, it just switched easily. So that this robot doesn't even have to move at all, and the pistons just pass for them. This saves a lot of time aligning and passing. Yeah, yeah. and as it kind of was like this mechanism, right? You can eliminate the entire luck part of this game. And it's just a lot faster to pick up those balls. And this is how teams in China can get up to like 200, 250, and 300 or even higher points. And yeah, as Jason was saying, that redirect mechanism is really helpful in saving time since the loading bot doesn't even need to go to the side or any place to really pick up those balls, right? Just stay in a straight line back and forth. This was confirmed by the GDC that it is legal. As SG4 says, as long as the ball leaves the loader's hands, the robot can go in. And the time that it takes the ball to reach a back plate is enough for the robot to pick up the ball using the X pip as its ramp. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, this method could definitely be banned, right? Like in pitching in with the broken, you know, hold all the balls and just climb up and shoot. Um, this is kind of like a similar tactic, right? You're kind of just destroying the point of the loading station. And yeah, it's just making the game really boring. But I also think that it could be fixed, right? Just by adding another X plate on top so that the intake can't go across. And this is what they have been doing for some of the other games, like high stakes. You know, they changed the field a bit. So for now, right, it's legal. So I encourage a lot of you to try building this because this bot, it looks really complex, right? But a normal backroller bot can do this. This bot, I know from some insider information that it was recently just modified to be able to do this loading method. From what I've heard, this robot actually practice... uses the piston to go over the x -blade. Yeah. So, this and... one, in fact, I'm pretty sure this one had 18 passes. Yeah, and this match wasn't even that good of a run, right? Like, Look at the I've logo. seen Magic Kid get up over maybe like 21 pass goals, and you know, yeah, the loader is kind of loading slow right now. I've seen They're not some... just loading like instantly. I've seen some teams get over 300 points with this method. Yeah. So overall, I would say that this method is very useful because it eliminates all the luck, and you should definitely try it before it gets illegal. Yeah. And so this could be banned in the next major game update, but for now, this is definitely legal. It was answered by Q&A, so I encourage you guys to just modify your robots, try this, and even if you don't use it in like normal qualifications, right? If you need to carry like a hero bot team or something, like in finals, it could still prove to be really, really useful and help you win the tournament. And what actually makes this whole thing work is a new added redirect at the back. 
That is what makes the whole passing system actually useful because you don't have to turn around and actually directly pass. All I thought you stay in the middle and it goes directly towards the other team. Yeah. And if you want this image in full quality, you can join the Captain's Discord server. We have high quality leaks yeah. and all of these. We're going to have robot ratings. So we're going to have reviews and everything's going to be in there. So yeah, join up in the description and we'll see you next time. See you. Bye. Goodbye.